welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Matthew 4, verse 19. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus has a great plan for us. He wants us to follow him. But why would Jesus want us to follow him? Well, friends, a lot of people, they get all kinds of reasons for following Jesus. They would follow him because of the miracles that he was performing. They just want to witness these miracles, being entertained by the miracles that was being performed by the Lord Jesus Christ. Some would follow him because of his teaching, great teachings, friends. Nothing can be compared with the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. And some would follow him because of the fellowship, fellowship with the Son of God. But Jesus wants us to follow him because of this reason, that we be fishers of men, that we go out and preach the gospel to everyone, so that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. That was the purpose, friends, of Jesus in calling us to follow him. That we be used to preach the gospel, to save as many as possible, as many as those that will receive him. Hallelujah. And that's the reason why even towards the end, Jesus himself had said that, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Friends, that is the role of each one of us in following the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, there are many blessings, of course, in doing the work because Jesus is also fair. He is just. That's why the Apostle Paul was very clear in saying that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. So as we do the work, friends, of sharing the gospel to others, God will reward us. Remember that for one sinner that repents, there is much rejoicing in heaven. Hallelujah. So great reward awaits those who follow the Lord Jesus Christ. So friends, why don't we occupy ourselves? Yes, we can go fishing this summer. Yes, you can go to the cottage and spend time fishing. But how about fishing for souls? Fishing for men. And that's what Jesus was saying to Peter and the rest. He said that, come, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. This is a more rewarding work, friends, of fishing for men. Great reward for those that bring souls into the kingdom of God. So let's occupy ourselves. Let's prepare ourselves. And because we are following the Lord Jesus Christ, He will equip us. He will guide us as we do the work. Amen. If you think, friends, that when you go and you go and do it your own way. No. God will guide us and lead us in, in, into the people that he wants us to share the gospel with. All that we need, friends, is respond to that call. Come on, let's do the work. Share the gospel. And our prayer is that those that will hear the gospel will indeed receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As many as receive him. He gave them the right to become children of God. So friends, let us be part of that salvation or the process of being born again of those that would receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Amen. Just like to each one of us, friends, someone shared the gospel with us before. Someone revealed to us the mystery of the gospel. In that being born again. Amen. To many friends, they cannot accept it. Because they just don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. But how can they believe? Unless somebody would go and preach the gospel. And how can we go unless somebody send us? And today Jesus is saying, Well, go. Come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Amen. So let's do the work, friends. This summer, let's occupy ourselves. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.